Y'all know what's going on. It's time for another episode of Doing Time with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Baker. Welcome to the show, y'all. Max Skunk done got caught up in the flim flam. Right? Look here. The shakedown done took place, and one of his clients, you understand what I mean when I say client, one of his customers done got caught with the bag. And dude want Max Skunk to take care of the business. He done already oversold himself trying to make everybody believe that he's Sean Penn or something and he can get everything taken care of. You know, Sean Penn and the quick lawyer uh, show that he was in. You understand what I'm saying? So now he trying to play like he really a lawyer. He ain't no law. He ain't no law. He don't really know how thick it is. The, the, he been warned. I tried to tell him. He didn't want to listen to me. So now he got to figure out a way out because now he's his whole operation is threatened. He's still doing stuff. And then... On top of that, he want to come back to the family. He want to ask the fam. You understand what I'm saying? What can he do about a dude trying to threaten? Everybody looked at him last and said, man, that's between you and him. It ain't got nothing to do, nothing to do with nothing. You need you the D-boy uh, advise, you need to go take care of the business. See, he tried to slick pull the family into it. See, but he that's a peon. It's between him and the peon. He tried to say, well, the peon trying to snitch on me. Well, the peon ain't snitched on you yet. He ain't told on you. You done made some promises that now you you having a hard time keeping them and you want the family to help you out. And see, what he really wanted, he wanted the family to push on dude, right? Going to push him off the compound. Not going to happen. See, the guys, you understand what I'm saying? They wasn't with that either. They wanted him to take care of your business. You the one that went out there and told all these folks you can get these write-ups beat, so go get the write up beat. So he go to the D-Boy chairman. He trying to run it down to him. Look, what can we do with this write-up? You know what I'm saying? And the D-Boy chairman tells me, this right up, it's going to stick because now he can go to the board and let and argue his case in front of the board. And, and I'll explain that to you in a few minutes. But the D-Boy chairman is telling him, look, this was confiscated on the shakedown. They found it in possession of the, of the guy that's gotten charged with it. And it's really no way out of it. Well, the dude saying, this is what Matt is going to try to tell the D-Boy about. Right? He said, man, the dude saying it wasn't his. They didn't get it off of it. So he pulled out the report because they documented very thoroughly when they get something, where they get it, and the, the condition that it was in. Then they take pictures of it, and then they submit it as evidence and put it in the bag, right? So he's reading it. He said it was found in his own personal property, not his seller's. You understand what I'm saying? So if he's saying it's not his, then is he saying it's his seller's? Now, see, Max Skunk knew at that moment that the D-Boy chairman he went from being a D-boy chairman to the police. See, if he's saying that this belonged to his seller, the D-boy chairman going to get on the phone, call the shift commander, and then have another write-up served on his seller. You feel me? But see, he need Max Skunk to get his client to say that. But dude ain't finna say that. That's snitching, y'all. He ain't finna do that. So now Max Skunk scratching his head. He don't know what to do. He don't know what to do. So he come back. He go tell dude, look, man, I can get you five days in the hole, man. Put on the ship. Then you ain't got to go to the hole, but you got to plead guilty. Dude tell him, I ain't pleading guilty to nothing. You said you can take care of Take care of Max Skunk try to get a little rough with him and tell him, I'm not doing that. I can't do that. And it is what it is. You're just going to have to deal with it, man. Ain't nobody had no knowledge that this was going to happen. You got caught up. You should have would only got rid of it before they were coming. You know what I'm saying? But like dude told him, didn't nobody know they was coming. It was a sneak attack. That's how shakedowns are. Don't nobody know unless the wallets turn off. Dude then woke up with the police on their door. He got the bag on him. It's all in his property. He can't do nothing about it. And he don't want to accept responsibility for it. And Max Skunk, he most definitely don't know what to do. So now, Max Skunk, he come back talking to one of the guys, another old head, right? He don't want to talk to me no more because I don't want to hear no more what he got to say. You feel what I'm saying? Plus, I ain't in rotation at this particular time anyway. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm really just like an old head that... Still kicking with the guys and they talk about this and talk about that. So that's cool too. You feel what I'm saying? So now the old head, you know what I'm saying, one of the guys is telling him, look, 
this is what you can do. He said, you're going to have to learn to trade up. So Max Gunn said, what you mean trade up? He said, you got to trade up. He said, man, what you're going to have to do is get the D-Boy chairman to get, let you off with this right up. Let this, your client get away to give him somebody bigger and better. So Max Gunn looked at him and he said, uh, well, wait a minute. That means I'm going to have to tell him somebody. So look. Oh, here, folks, he look around. He making sure. You know how when you're talking to somebody and you want to make sure ain't nobody around to hear you or see what you got going on? He look around over his shoulder, over the left, over the right. He don't see nobody. Then he lean in and he tell Max Gunn, won't nobody know but me and you. You feel what I'm saying? So Max Gunn look at him. He's nervous. He don't know if he's being tested or if this is real or what. And he look, he say, hey, bro, don't be playing with me, man. So the old head brother tell him, he said, look, ain't nobody playing with you. I'm trying to give you an out. They do it all the time. You feel what I'm saying? You the one wanted the job. You got to get grimy with it. You got to trade up. And then Max Scott, he took the bait. He said, but what? Who? How? He said, man, uh, you need to use this as your opportunity to get rid of some of your competition." So Mike Skunk, he's, he's sitting there, right? And it was almost like a light bulb went off in his head, right? You know what I'm saying? And his eyes lit up. And he got to thinking, hold oh, up. This is how I can make more money. I can give the D-Boy chairman somebody else on the compound, right, that's getting that money, and then use that to get my client off. Nobody will know. So the old head brother looking at him, he started to realize that Max Skunk is taking the bait. He, took, he done took it. They're like a big mouth bass. He done hit it. He done swallowed the worm, but the hook is in his mouth. He don't know it yet. Because see, the brother ain't yanked on it yet. But he know he done swallowed that hook. You feel me? He done swallowed it. So he's like, who you going to tell on, folk? Who you going to tell on? Now, once upon a time, man, when you talking to one of the brothers and you say tell on somebody, Knowing that that's snitching, man, you get hit in your mouth. But see, things were changing, even within the old, you understand? It was the cost of doing business. That's what's so sad about the business. It was the cost of doing business. It was part of it, right? So he said, man, look, I know this dude, man. He be getting his money, too, with that bag, and he been in my way anyway. I can get all that money then because they going to lock him up and send him to the hole and then I can throw a little, little grave on top of it and make it seem like dude going to threaten to do something to do somebody and then they won't let him back out there ship him then I can swoop up and get all the money. Right? Folks like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you do. That's what you do. He said, but I got one problem. He said, what that is, bro? What that is? He said, man, dude affiliated. He said he wanted the guys. He was like, nah. He said, then don't care. Who cares about that? Knock his brains out. He said, man, are you sure? And see, that's all you need is that confirmation. Somebody to edge your own and push her right on over the cliff. Because that's what he did to Max Skunk. Pushed him right on over the cliff. He said, yeah. Man, go on and turn him in, man. Get him done. He said, man, that's what you got that position for. To help us. You feel what I'm saying? This going to help the fam. You feel what I mean? It's going to help the fam. Everybody going to be able to eat. So Max Skunk, he taking the bait again, like I told you. Like I told you. So he go tell the, the D-Boy chairman, look, dude, listen to man. Listen to how I'm going to lay this out. Because he don't say him. He say, dude, his client, follow me, got some information that he wants to trade in exchange for dismissing the write-up. Right? So the D-Boy chairman says, uh, okay, but I got to talk to the warden about it, make sure that the information is valid and that he's willing to do this. But the information got to check out. And we got to be able to catch him. See, Max Skunk didn't realize that part of it. You see, you can tell on him, but if they go to him and he ain't got nothing, it ain't nothing. You can't just put the tag on somebody like that. You feel what I'm saying? They got to catch him with something. So Max Skunk said, let me go make sure that he got the right information. But the D-Boy chairman said, who are we talking about? And he gave him a name of this crypt dude, right? 
laid it all out for him. He said, oh, we've been hearing about him. I done had him in here a couple of times. So Max Skunk was like, yeah, okay. He seen, he seen the D-Boys channel live light up. He said, I got him. I got him. And if you want to know how the rest of this played out, you got to tune in to the next episode. It's been another episode of Doing Time with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Baker, and I say peace, y'all. I'm getting so tired.